Hi everyone, and welcome back. Uh, this show is now officially old enough to drink. This is episode 21, and we're back with the Top Drive Show. As we always do with the Top Drive Show, we will start by looking at the questions from last time. Uh, thanks so much again for all of the fantastic support. We got over 100 likes and uh, 250 something comments as I uh, check this one out. Uh, a lot of people uh, joined in on uh, telling us it's their birthday. Um, so congratulations. Uh, a lot of people tried it. Some people more than once. That was very cheeky of you. But uh, we do have our winner. Uh, as I, I checked it this morning. And the uh, the birthday comment with the most likes came from Speed Reaper. Who got 11 likes for saying it's my birthday. I wonder if I can get this pack. So well done to you. Carbon Fibre Pack is yours. Uh, as for the real questions, we've got uh, the most liked question this time, uh, earning a carbon fibre pack, is Andy5 Best, with the question, with all of these saloon car challenges, could you please add a body style filter in our garage? Well, I know that we're working on some filter changes. Yes, that is definitely, yeah, that is definitely a bit of a bit of a mission no, not that not being um there so yes the, i know i've tried them there are new exciting new filter options coming soon yeah uh very powerful um it was you know it's been something that i think you know i think we've been really feeling it i mean it's like the more cars we add in the more the more the tags just the, 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 as the variety and diversity grows it's the the, the filtering has really been shown up as not being not being quite powerful enough yeah um and that is definitely being addressed absolutely i don't think it's in the next update though i think it's, it's not, like but it's i know it's it's in a very functional state which yeah. is always a good sign yeah it and looks that, it looks super good yeah good okay uh, so yeah well done andy you get your carbon fiber uh our next question is from uh grimjau jäger jackers <laughs> who i'll never get tired of saying that one a um, lovely pronunciation not really um, they also left a birthday comment. It didn't win, unfortunately. But they also left a question that says, uh, advice number two. When in an event at the bottom of the leaderboard, you have three options, me, top, and the refresh button. Can we have the bottom button as well? It will help us to see when the league is full, especially for the big events, like with the ones with 300 to 500 players. So just like a scroll, to be able to scroll to yes. the very bottom of your uh, of your bucket. Yep. Yeah. I see. I th uh, that... I mean, sounds like a, a just a, a nice, uh, straightforward quality of life uh, improvement to the game. Yep. Um, we you uh, you might notice that Tim is is missing. Uh, that feels like a Tim is very feels like guardian of the quality of life uh, list. Yeah. So I will have to wait until he's back from holiday mm -hmm. and just find out whether that's actually on the list at the moment and. Uh, if it is where it is on that list and if not then can we add it yeah because uh, I can see that being being useful definitely yeah so we had a question from Arva Fosneus who said can you please make Tim have his microphone either closer to his mouth or make his microphone louder I can't hear what he says uh, yeah so um, obviously uh, we've got uh, an issue with one of our microphones and uh, we, we just decided let's just get rid of Tim that's <laughs> that, that that easier than getting a new microphone yeah yeah that was our solution um, no not really he's fine he'll be back soon uh, but Ave, you can have a carbon fibre pack uh, well done you uh, the next question comes from uh, Francis Muller with a question can we have an option to change our name without Facebook uh, uh, I don't know uh, yeah that does mm. uh, it should be doable in terms of kind of player identification and save systems behind the scenes and social networks and things like that it is a slight can of worms um so the short answer is that i can't answer that question yeah I'm neither afraid. can i um it's i know it has i know it has i have heard people discussing it um what i don't know is exactly kind of where we are on how feasible a solution is and and then when it might make it into the game but um yeah i think we will we can make a note of that and uh do a little bit of investigation I cool because it's uh i know i know you know some people like it it's it's they prefer you know you don't want to go messing with your social network in order to have a sort of an anonymous anonymous name in a game right um 
So it uh, can definitely see the, the benefits of having that. Good. Okay. Just a quick intermission to uh, thank everybody who did the birthday comment because I did control F on the YouTube comment section for the episode and uh, 324 instances of the word birthday came up. So thank you very much for that. Uh, that was a real breeze to sort through and it was all my fault. Um, back to questions though. And we've got a question here from Ben Rotlender who asks, uh, can you add an option where you can race your own cars from your garage against others to compare them? It's not only about the shown stats on the different cards, as we all know. Yeah, so, I mean, this is sort of a variation on the, the question we've had before, which is, you know, I want to be able to directly compare cars yes. um, at challenges. Um, we've had people ask for sort of the, some kind of debug-esque. Like te- yeah. yeah, I mean, we've... There's been a few ideas, I think. That, so this, like, like you say, this has come up. Um, oh, yeah. I know, sort of, uh, I think we discussed it a bit last time. Tim had an excellent response that I can't quite remember at this point. But, um, uh, I mean, a few things. One, de- definitely sort of love that idea. I mean, we were, I think I'd said before, but when we when we were building this game, sort of all we had was, was that tool. Like, there was really no game. All we could do was pick from a big list of cars and, and put it up against another car mm. from a big list and, and see what happens and actually that it was endlessly entertaining it's just trying out different combinations um so there's been talk sort of there's different ways that we could implement it at one point there, there was even talk about sort of uh physicalizing the, the the top drives world in in the you know in terms of sort of having a garage and having like a test track a private test track uh where you can put cars uh, around it and compare them um i think the the feeling or the kind of the risk with it is that it it's almost too much of a good thing Mm -hmm. sort of in a way the appeal of of but you know but playing top drives and and going through the campaign and entering events and seeing what challenges come up is sort of that's almost kind of that's where you kind of that's where you get to see sort of car v car and and the outcomes of all these different races and it and it did i think we've we've a slight worry that if we allow everybody to simply compare sort of everything against every other thing it's it is kind of too too much of a good thing mm-hmm. um there's obviously ways that we can we can you know try and fix that and that it could like like the suggestion is it's just the cars that you own uh, that yeah. you can compare against each other um so that obviously kind of limits it to to, to some degree but um yeah it's not I, it's one of those ones where it's like I wouldn't it's not I wouldn't rule it out completely okay it's not uh, but not in the short term all right goody okay uh, let's move on to the last couple of questions I've got this one from Adam Yugasek who asks will we see discounts on buying gold anytime soon maybe 10% off would be nice uh, <laughs> yeah uh, great um, everybody likes a deal uh, they do. I am unfortunately not in charge of offers and and uh, things like that, so I I, uh, I cannot say for sure. But yeah. um, I'm, well, I'm yeah, yeah. I'm sure there'll be. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah. sure there'll be offers appearing in the future. Yeah. I'm sure we can find something. Yeah. Sorry, that's an incredibly vague answer. But, yeah. Uh, uh, we can do that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then uh, the last question I've got for us today is from E. J. Hosinfa who asks, I would like to see a reverse race where the slowest vehicle wins. I like that. That would be, yeah. I want be, that too, don't you? Like, yes. That would be just be so good funny. To, um, it, yeah, I think it would be great. Actually, we, I think we're all sort of, actually maybe it was more kind of in the early days, but kind of looking at kind of, actually the range of challenges that we could offer. Um, and yeah, I, th- I think that's the sort of thing where we just kind of make, yeah, basically kind of just taking the taking the tried and trusted rule set of, you know, who's who's first across the line or, the, the occasion or who's got the fastest top speed mm-hmm. um, and just mixing it up with, with something like that it's I, I, I actually it's the sort of thing that in a in a game where you control the cars it, it's it sort of it kind of breaks a bit because you could just have people going around in circles and things like that yeah. but with top drives the fact that we don't have player control it actually means that things like that yeah are, you, you are, can deliberately play golf kind yes, of thing like you yeah. know, go for the lowest possible score yeah it's something you can do. So actually, that is a yeah. I think that would um, I can see that making it onto the list of uh, <laughs> of things that we really can explore. Yeah. 
Goody. Okay, so uh, that's it for the questions from last time. Of course, uh, thanks for waiting an extra week for this episode. Uh, we had a couple of things uh, jump in the way of filming last week, but we are going to make up for it now. Uh, we've got more news to talk about, so let's do that. Well, another day and another prize car. We are here to talk about the upcoming prize car, which is, uh, as we record it this weekend, uh, what is the prize car this week? Uh, the prize car is the fairly mighty uh, 2004 Chrysler ME412, uh, sometimes, I think, written out as in the proper sense, sometimes written as numbers, but uh, yeah. uh, I think everybody knows the car that we're talking about. Um, concept vehicle. Yep. Uh, and, and tagged accordingly. Uh, just, just like, I don't know, the, the random fact is that ME412 stands for mid-engined four turbochargers, because two are rarely enough, um, yeah. and 12 cylinders. So it's uh, yeah, it's it's a pretty uh, mighty car in every sense. But the thing about that is when you, when you just hear those descriptors and the fact that they were trying to reach, uh, what was it, 250 miles per hour, it sounds an awful lot like a very different high performance vehicle from the same decade does it not it does um yes. but one made it to production and this one did not yes um so yeah it's it's kind of i guess there's a lot of people probably maybe slightly sad it would have been it would have been good to see um it would have been well it it's well it would have been good to see it on the roads really it's mm. a, a kind of it would have been an interesting addition um in terms of it's uh it's sort of specifics in top drives um it's uh grip is kind of 88 so it's um it's pretty good i mean it's not the it's not your kind of ultra um sort of high performance handling car <coughs> sorry uh so 88 grip it's quite light uh 1300 kilograms high performance tires rear wheel drive um, so you're going to have to kind of watch what, you know, which challenges you use it on. It's going to have to pretty much be, be dry um, and, and tarmac. Uh, not to 62.9 seconds. So it's, it joins that very, very uh, exclusive uh, sort of two second bracket to, to 60 mark. Um, but I think, I mean, you mentioned the target of sort of 250 miles an hour. I mean, I think that the big, the big thing for the ME12 is a uh, top speed of 248. So they yeah. didn't, didn't quite hit their target, but... 248 miles an hour is 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 pretty impressive um yeah. by any stretch of the imagination it's quite quite fast yes mm. and uh i mean 850 brake horsepower 850 pounds of torque is a sort of lovely sort of balanced figures there uh, it's just i mean really it's kind of it, it basically i mean it sits just below your your bugatti sort of territory um yeah. uh, which is uh, a, a pretty desirable uh, space to be in and hopefully a, a kind of interesting car to battle for yep um, and add to your collection um, so yes so we'll see what uh, see what goes down this weekend yeah have we got a challenge that we can compare it to we do I cool. thought I'd, I'd keep it quite simple this time so uh, one mile classic one mile drag um, up against our old favourite the McLaren 12C who uh, I think people sort of uh still come up against and, and mm -hmm. use quite a lot mm -hmm. um so if i run or if i run this here i mean it's it's uh what are we looking at i mean the mclaren's 29 i mean they're both 29 rq um mclaren is i think it's probably still lighter kind of not 60 is very similar uh top speed's obviously down but um we'll, if i play it we'll see what happens actually off the line the, i mean the mclaren is is kind of lower lower end is is incredibly fast and actually leads for a bit but i, I think as they cross the line it's um uh, the Chrysler just it just takes it. It's just that extra that that top speed is you know is the result of some pretty serious um, sort of high end power in that car. Uh, and even up against something like I mean the twelve C is is still an unbelievably rapid car. Yeah. Um, it, it the Chrysler just takes it as the, as the speeds kind of get up into the into the stratosphere. Um, so you know like I was saying it's going to be you know it's something to kind of watch in terms of conditions. It's it is just rear wheel drive. Um, but any of the kind of longer drag races um, and especially the high speed ball fast circuit it's going to be it's right up there with with some of the quickest things in the game so um yeah hopefully a, a good weekend of a uh, competition around that yeah great so that's one treat that we've got coming up for you but there is another treat on the way and we've got some news about it 
uh, we we spoiled it a long time ago now, but we are going to spoil it again uh, because we have now got clubs on the way. Yes. Uh, we're recording this on Wednesday, and uh, we know right now that it is in submission. Um, and maybe even by the time the episode is out, perhaps a little bit later, uh, we will have clubs out there in the real world and in the wild. Yes. So, yeah. So, like, as you say, can't, it's, you know, again, can't give a, an absolute uh, precise date. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but club events are in the game. Um, mm -hmm. And are yeah are, are just waiting for approval to to um, to go through and be released uh, into yep. the wild. Definitely. And uh, basically, yeah, just can't wait for people to, to start playing. Um, I think we have you know we've described them in quite a lot of detail before. Mm -hmm. um, but obviously, it's a completely new type of event um, format where you uh, pick one of three available clubs. Uh, it's uh, Full Throttle, Legacy, and Midnight. Each of them kind of assigned to a car. So the idea is that you, you sort of, you probably go with the club uh, that you that kind of where the car resonates most with you. Mm -hmm. uh, very much kind of muscle cars or kind of uh, high tech Japanese kind of tuning culture or your kind of classic uh, European German engineering uh, in the in the form of a Porsche GT3. Yeah. Um, so yeah, go go with the club that that, that you know that you resonate with most. Um, and then it's very much this kind of really dynamic uh, sort of map uh, sort of uh, interface uh, where it's basically kind of as, as a seasoned running, you're going to be sort of the, the clubs are basically battling for territory. Um, and as I think I've mentioned before, but there's some really interesting strategies that can come into play in, in, in the way that you each each part of that map is divided up into into lots of sectors. Each part of that um, is, is an event in its own right. Um, and, and you can kick it off or you can join yeah, you can join one that's already running yep. um, and so in terms of the way the clubs kind of try and move across the map um, in terms of the, the, sort of the way the borders between the different sort of club territories uh, sort of vary uh, as you go is, is just been fascinating kind of while we've been testing it on the team so yeah it's, it's really not very long until that is going to be available to all of you ah. um, and yeah, just can't wait to can't wait to get get people playing, yeah. um, and then actually you know get your thoughts and feedback. Yep. Um, and we sort of see see what people are enjoying. Yeah, definitely, it's going to be really fun to to study how that all works out. Um, and of course, thank you very much everybody for your patience with uh, letting us get clubs uh, working exactly right uh, before putting it out there in the world. Of course, it's later than we thought it would be, but uh, for it to be ready now and. Uh, to let everybody have a go at it it's going to be super exciting uh so yeah that's that's coming up awfully soon yeah i think just look it's i mean all we can really say is just look out for that update yeah it, keep it, an eye um, out. should be a matter of a few days Ooh. okay good uh so i think that that is everything that we need to talk about this week around uh but of course you know the rules by now we will be back next time uh, make sure to leave any questions that you have in the comments section of this video. If you see a question somebody else has asked that you like the look of, make sure to give it a like because we look at the most liked comments first. And yeah, I guess we're going to have to see what happens with the first round of club events yep. and uh, enjoy fighting over the prize card this weekend. So I guess that's it from us. Uh, thanks very much for playing Top Drives and this has been the Top Drive Show. <laughs>